this is our territory. Oh, sorry. I'm just passing through. Oh, yes. But if we let you pass, then we must let everyone pass. Then they start eating all our leaves, trampling our branches. So, with my apologies, we must chase you away. Wait. Why are you down here in the understory? Shouldn't you be way up there in the canopy? Oh, we go where there's food and water. So now, this is our new territory. So you need to leave. He's scared. Oh, don't be afraid, little one. We're totally harmless. Paolo is a horsein, and I'm an anteater. My name is Adriana. Nice to meet you. I'm Min, and we should get you back to your nest. Your parents must be worried. When I was a baby, I used to fall out of my nest two times a week. Of course, my nest was over the river, back when there was a river. The river always disappears in the dry season, but then it comes back. Only this year, it didn't. But don't worry about that, little guy. Just do what Watsons do and climb back up. I'm okay. Oh, no. His leg is hurt. Poor thing's not climbing anywhere. He's not the type of bird that can climb anyway. But we could get him back up there. I just don't know how to get him past those howler monkeys. We're going to need some help. I'm sticking to this tree no matter what. I'm afraid we can't go anywhere either. Our egg is about to hatch, so I sealed up our nest to keep them safe. Them? Are you saying Mrs. Hornbill is sealed inside there too? Only for five months? Just until our chick is old enough to fly? It's not so bad. There's a little hole where I bring them food. But they're not going anywhere for now. We can't risk harming the hornbills. Looks like we'll have to move this tree upright. It'll be a little wobbly, Kip. But the Cherub One can handle it. I can use my map to lead you on the smoothest path to the safest location, just across the river. Excellent. Wazi and I will stay behind to make sure a teeth doesn't follow you. Careful! Sorry about that, Mrs. Hornbill. We'll be fine. Just as soon as we make it across that rope bridge. Hey, where'd my scratching tree go? Now, Atif, I'm sorry, but the creatures in that tree were in danger, so we had to move it. Plenty more trees in the forest, matey. We can help you find one, like this one. Sleek, stylish, a real itch scratcher. But I want my scratching tree. <sighs> hey! Come back with that. That's it, Tweak. Slow and steady. Yes, steady is good. Please be careful. My wife and chick are inside. Uh, I can do the slow part. I'm not so sure about steady. <laughs> oh, no, no. Forget slow. The teeth is right at our tail. Hold on, Etty! Let me pass. That's my scratching tree. No can do, matey. There are creatures in that snag. Oh, no!
more water frogs out there. They'll have a much better chance of hearing you this way. What was that? It's coming from downstream. Sit tight, Ernesto. We're going to investigate. There! Are you Suenka's water frogs? Oh, yes, we are. Oh, dear. You look sick. Shellington, do you think they might have? Mm, yes, they're showing symptoms of the fungus sickness. We do not feel good. My name's Peso, and I'm a medic. I have a special ointment that should make you feel better. Oh, be careful not to touch them. Why? Will we get sick? No, the fungus only affects amphibians like frogs, toads or salamanders. But we don't want to spread it to other locations or to other frogs like Ernesto. I'll be careful. Gracias, senor. Oh, that feels so much better. Good thing, too. Wouldn't want you getting Ernesto sick. Ernesto? Who is Ernesto? Ah, he's your cousin, I suppose. He's been looking for other Sawenkas water frogs like you. Do not know of any other Sawenkas water frogs? When can we meet this Ernesto? Unfortunately, not yet. I'm going to have to quarantine you until the fungus is completely gone from your skins. Quarantine? What is quarantine? You just have to stay in this bubble for a few days until the fungus is all gone so you don't spread the disease to the water or other creatures. We had to use clean water. I tested it to make sure there's no fungus in it. Oh, gracias, Senor Shellington. You're eager to be with another water frog, but we don't want to make him sick like us. That doesn't mean you can't meet him by Octowatch. Ernesto, say hello to your new cousins. <laughs> hello. hello! I knew it! I knew that if I just kept calling out that someday I would find a family. Don't leave. No more. Wait, Ernesto! Mi familia! I am coming! Honey! You need to stop Ernesto. There's a fungus in this stream that could make him sick. We'd better keep an eye out for Ernesto before he gets too close to the stream. Already after him. Hello. Oh, have you spotted Ernesto? No, this is a call for help. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I've got this. Just a little more. Perfect. Thanks, Dashie. Oh, this is wonderful. Such a beautiful, healthy tree. Thanks for your help, Octonauts. I say, Tweak, does the Terragup have an instruction manual? It sure does, Professor. Right below the console. Why? I'm being pursued by some very persistent howler monkeys. I told them they had to move to a new tree, and they didn't take it at all well. Keep them moving, Inky. Maybe we can lead them to a healthy part of the forest. I agree. Moving seems to be the best plan. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, when traveling up steep inclines, make sure the primary graspers are engaged. Oh, well, that goes without saying. You know, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Oh! Hey! Why are you chasing us? What? That can't be right. After him! Ooh, 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 ooh. You're doing great, Inky. Follow that branch to the next tree. Oh, uh, I'm afraid that branch doesn't quite reach anymore. But I have an idea. <laughs> well, I'll be. Brilliant, Inky. Now the howlers can run across to their new home. <laughs> oh, but it will not work. We're not leaving. Now, with my apologies, we must once again force you to leave. Me oh my, they're trying to knock the Terrigal five out of the tree. <laughs> leave our friends alone. Fine, we know better than to mess with harpy eagles. Ooh, how dare you chase us into a new tree with more leaves and clay to eat and, uh, ooh, better places to sleep. Maybe we should just stay. Oh, right. Uh, actually, we will take this tree too. So, with the uh, apologies.
technologies, it is ours now. So, uh, I guess, thank you. I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>